What up weebs, today we're unboxing this SH Figuarts Son Gohan figure from Bandai. This one is called the fighter who surpassed Goku and damn right he did. Moving to the back, we see a lot of sick poses actually. And this one here is made in China, let's hope that the QC is good. It should be coming out in the US summer 2024, so links below for that. Thank you for supporting the channel. And boom, screenshot that y'all if you want to remember what's inside the package. And we like accessories starting with faceplates, you get one straight face and that's tough. Next, Gohan with his teeth gritted. This third one here has battle damage, almost like surprised. This is cool, you have an extra head, Gohan's hair flaring out and he's like screaming. Going Super Saiyan. And wow, that hair sculpt is so sick. Not a lot of shading on the back, but the front, it just looks so good. Bunch of hands, including karate chopping action. These ones are partially open. These hands are like wide open Masenko hands. And these Kamehameha hands, sick. And this is what we've all been waiting for. The soft good capes, but the shoulder pads are actually a soft uh, plastic. Like the sculpt on that, that looks pretty dope. There's a lot of texture on the um, collar and this is soft cloth. You got a little elastic there. I love how there's wires so you can actually pose it. It's just so good. So here are my first impressions of the figure itself. Man, that head sculpt and the shading on there, so much detail. Now that yellow is flat, like the uh, full powered Super Saiyan uh, yellow, like a whiter yellow, the purple on the gi oh way better than the sdcc exclusive not a whole lot of shading going on on the body but there is a lot of depth added by the uh muscle definition and that matte finish you know i like that matte finish that is so clean there is some shading on the purple it just looks like the gi that he got from piccolo like super accurate to the show love that blue belt it's like that anime blue glad to see that back Going into the legs, a lot of shading here. It just looks really clean. I believe that cross piece is like a softer plastic. Even the back looks good, but check out these piccolo yams. <laughs> these vids take a lot of time to make, so if you're enjoying yourself, make sure you drop a sub so you don't miss any more anime content. Going into articulation now, his head goes all the way down. Head goes up before stopped by the hair in the back. That's okay. Side, side, tilting. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, into the torso diaphragm. We can twist above and below the belt. Doesn't ab crunch too much. Forward goes back. That's okay. Again, side to side. I mean, still pretty mobile considering how small he is. We'll see that in the size comparison soon. Arm goes all the way up laterally. We'll just go up 90 on the elbow. That is double jointed. Can go all the way. Now, wrist rotates. It's on a ball peg. Also has some flexion as well. Upper arm swivels. And you know what? Let's check out that butterfly joint. How far forward can we get? Or how far across, I mean. It's a little tight. Toy. We like it. Okay. Just quickly run through this side real quick. Quickly, real quick. Nice. into the legs. I hit him with a JCVD and it's getting into that soft plastic crotch piece, but that's okay. That is actually really nice because I know we won't scratch it. JCVD, baby. Splits all the way. Okay. And 
how far forward can we get? Dude, all the way up, past 90. Them. Okay, that looks a little weird. A little gap there. But I mean, he can go all the way back. Now into the knee, which... Okay, a little twist over here. Into the knee, that goes full 90. I don't want to scratch this piece here, but it does get all the way up. Double jointed. Ankle. Check out those yams. There is toe flexion. Ankle rocks and twists. So, I mean, it's pretty good. For such a small fig, it's pretty good. So this is what I mean by small fig. When you compare this Gohan to the SDCC exclusive, he is a little shorter. And I think that's a lot more accurate. Here he is next to SDCC Gohan and Trunks. And you know we have to put him with Cell and Goku. I think the scaling is like right on here. He basically lines up to Goku's shoulder, which is what I remember at least. In case you were wondering, the heads do swap. This one looks really nice actually, but the new head is kind of loose on the battle damage body. I don't know if that's just too much oil. Okay, using the cape is really easy. You pop off the head and place the cape down on the neck. This is the second head. It's actually not, it doesn't feel like it's that tight. You have to push on it that okay so squeeze the shoulder pads down and eventually you can get it on that looks pretty sick this head just fits a lot better for some reason and wow check out that cape that just looks so nice let's see let's see if we can hit a little pose real quick and yeah i mean this cape it's a must-have if you're a gohan fan or i mean even if not it's just a sick soft goods cape i might try it on krillin at some point all right let's set it off with an easy pose just chilling in the wind now your boy's about to drop that cape getting a little serious now that looks sick you guys know we had to do the masenko and of course screaming head with the kamehameha hands Honestly, just a really good Dragon Ball fig. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like below. Watch this video next and sub if you're a weeb. Peace.